Buambale Joffre is a young man that was abducted by individuals in our security organs in Uganda on the 17th of September 2023. Since then to date, he has not been presented. No one knows about his whereabouts. Ugandans this morning woke up on yet again a cloud of excruciating pain hovering upon them. The pain of accepting the sad reality is that you can normalize abduction, torture, and murdering of innocent citizens. What really breaks my heart is all these are done at the watch of ostensibly educated men, the likes of Chirio Wachiwanuka, the attorney general of Uganda, who has completely decided to suspend emotional intelligence to become a dignity-free individual through venerating a man who has decided to appoint himself as God, Mr. Museveni, who can decide who prospers and who withers on the vine. This is wrong, Mr. Nobat Mao, Constitutional Affairs Minister. What is Constitution about abducting and torturing of innocent Ugandans? This continues to happen. It has been happening and we shall not allow it to be normalized. Look, this is done to silence voices like mine. But I want to promise you, we shall not badge. We shall not keep quiet. We shall shout on top of our voices. We shall use opportunities we get on mainstream media. We shall shout using our social media platforms. We shall shout deep in the villages in town. And we shall say this cannot be normalized. No one has a right whatsoever to abduct, subject torture, and possibly murder an innocent Ugandan. This is wrong. I don't understand it. I mean, how do you convince me that with the whole cabinet, with the whole parliament, the military, over 40 million Ugandans? <laughs> Let's look at those men that are close to Nisam Seven, that they cannot tell him that this is wrong. No one has. I don't want to use the American language, but no one is brave enough to tell him that, hey, this is wrong. You cannot normalize this behavior. When we say this should stop, we are not demanding a privilege. No, this is our right, godly given right, to have liberties and rights of us as human beings. It is unbelievable that we even have to demand for this. Oh boy. How I, how I wish I could look into the eyes of Mr. Amsevini and remind him there was a man, Idi Amin Dada, is not here anymore. He thought he was Lord of Lords, King of Kings. There was a man in the Democratic Republic of Congo by the name of Mobutu Seseseko Kukumbendu Wazabanga. Oh my. He had a palace that was surrounded by gold. He's not here anymore. Oh my, should I take you to Nazi Germany? Hitler thought he was the best of the best and a master at whatever he did. He was a complete charlatan who lost the world war. And up to now, no one wants to be named after his name. Oh, how many times can we go back and look at all these people that thought they were special? They were nothing. And indeed, Martin Luther King Jr. is right. I remember, I remind you over and over again. The arc of moral universe is, wrong, is, is long, but it bends towards justice. Change takes a long time, but it eventually happens. Look, we speak because... Writers have said that the pen is mightier than the sword, and that is so true. But the tongue is mightier than them both put together. There's no stopping speaking until rights and liberties are granted to all citizens as a body politic of Uganda.